uh, so we have that influence very strongly here in the Atlanta area. There's other areas all over the country where there are groups of people who really study it and find great meaning in it. Uh, the, up until the 18, 1893, the arrangements were done in the taller classical containers, they were called those Moribano. And then uh, a great man uh, by the last name of Okada brought back a style which had been had been used many early on, maybe 14th, 15th century, very, very early on, he brought it back to life again, and the ranches became going into what called moribana in shallow containers. And that was one of the revolution then, and it spread very quickly. And he's he's he's, he's recognized for being a genius. Then we skip ahead not so far in the 1920s when it uh, suddenly, there was another great revolution in Ikebana, and it was very, very shocking to everyone, because prior to that, everything that people arranged was done in the tokonoma, which is a Japanese-style alcove in the home where the art objects are placed for people to appreciate, away from the furniture, away from the rest of the home environment. And uh, this gentleman, uh, took it out of the token known and known oh, for this. It's great to do about it. And that's when the freestyle, modern, sometimes abstract, avant-garde, uh, if you want to begin, uh, in that style, in that category. <clears throat> and since then, it has continued to evolve. It goes in and out of different things that they like to do with it. But, Basically, the freestyle contemporary forms are still very, very strong and powerful. So you still have the traditional of the Ikenoma school and the other schools that are traditional alongside the new modern school. My school is a Chio, and it is a modern school. It's a contemporary school, headquarters in Tokyo. And uh, the, all of these modern schools, they have a lot of similarities, but there's something different about them. And in our school, I guess you could say that we like to do <coughs> modern designs, but we still like nature. So we try to keep nature very upfront and very much a part of the design. So I'm <coughs> going to start out tonight doing what is considered to be a classical form in the Yucho school with the triangular shapes, <laughs> very stable, very uh, uh, peaceful feeling. Uh, you can get it to go together properly, <laughs> it's a peaceful feeling, and I'll try to do that for you. Now, when, when you look at this arrangement, as I said before, it has stability. It's, it's very set, it's very stable. The material with the straight lines just automatically becomes more stable. But when you get material like this, uh, which is hairy waters, uh, then all of a sudden you've got a lot of action, a lot of activity. So I want to use this along with another stem which also has that same activity. And you'll see that there's a big difference between the stable, stable one and the one that has a strong line to it. This over here. I have 
Kenza in there, but this doesn't do well in the Kenza. So I'm just going to twist this down and, and put it down in here and see if that will hold it together. That's going to be my main stem. And uh, it's being supported by, I twisted this part around in here so it's supported by that. And instead of having the vertical line, now I'm going to use material which won't do vertical. It's got lots of things going on with it. So it's just going to become a slanting or a diagonal line. Like these would be hot. Hot? Like the container instead of. The, the, and the height of the basic height. It, it like would, a table or up high or which would be the best to display this? This, this particular one on a, just a table, flat as this here. A counter, a kitchen counter would work. If you, if you elevate it more, then you have to lean everything forward more. So it, and if it's short, if it's lower, then you put everything back further. So you adjust it according to the height that was being in place. See how active that is? Just like this one, very, very active. So I'm going to put two active people together and see when start going out, what happens to them. Virginia sweet, sweet Spire. And I always forget the Spire. Sweet Spire. I don't know if you're familiar with this plan or not. I, I debated whether I should leave these on or take them off. A month ago, they were all white with little tiny flowers on them. They were so pretty, and I thought, well, this is nature. It's, it's going to drop on its own eventually, so I decided I would leave them on. So they're, they're seeing it in transition. 
you all know these. The chrysanthemum. The chrysanthemum is the emperor's flower. And um, uh, so it's a very, very popular flower in Japan. Uh, usually, uh, also, it's, it's when you get it in white, it's a funeral flower. So you don't usually use white in, if you're in Japan in chrysanthemums. But we do here in the United States. We kind of break that tradition. <coughs> And they're, they're, they're very, very beautiful. When you're studying in Japan and you get them in class, they're in a bud stage. <laughs> and so you can have this for a month as you watch it, as it develops and starts out and goes, travels through its lifespan. And uh, so it's a very, very nice, beautiful flower. It, it lasts a long, even at this, at this size, it should last at least a week, maybe longer, if it has its water attention and everything taken care of properly. And uh, so, and probably on this one I don't need to read, but we'll see. So if tradition is applied for funeral, what would they have to be used for a wedding? Mm -hmm. So kimonos, the they wedding kimonos are often in red, but sometimes they're in white too. Yes, for celebration it would be red. Thank you. Anything else? <laughs> All right, I'm going to just insert the flowers now. If I can find the front anymore. <laughs> this is your focal point. We call this an aging A. Usually you have the largest blossom first. And then the smaller blossom because I like to say that the larger blossom is today and the smaller blossom is, is tomorrow. So these are pretty much the same size. <laughs> so here's, here's your second arrangement. And as I put it next to that one, you'll see the big difference between the feeling of energy, energy, energy. So. That's down to your level. I should come around and look at it and see what it looks like at your level. is uh, from an uh, American artist. He, uh, he lives in uh, Ohio. <laughs> he does a lot of time with this beautiful texture of pottery. And I saw him at a show here in Atlanta a number of years ago, and I like this a lot. <laughs> it has a very, very small opening, so you can't put a lot in it. Uh, but, you know, you want to have some substance for Ikebana. And so I decided today that I would add this to it. And um, I'm going to, it's very heavy because it's full of water, <laughs> but I'll just feel better if I use this. Uh, so I'm going to turn it around, and uh, I'm just going to slip this over the edge here. So I have to leave more because we have to get flowers in here, but screw it over the edge, like that. So that gives it an interest point in addition to the floral material. And uh, so I chose for this, for my garden,
is an umbrella plant. It grows in water. And uh, it's very nice for Ivana. It also has this very straight line. So you'll see another material with the straight line. But we do like to make a little bit of a curve because a little bit of a curve shows more motion. And you want to have the feeling that the material is alive and there's some movement to it. So I'm going to insert this piece first. And it's going to come quite far forward. I'm going to kind of let it do its thing, actually. It may want to go down, which means that I'm going to try a different place. See if I can get something to support it. Second step is, is like the horizon, so it needs to be shorter than this. So I'm going to insert that and it's going to be behind it. That. So you just see some depth. Um, this is a hard thing to always learn and always to come up with because sometimes we get the longer ones in the back and the shorter ones in the front and then it, it confuses what your eye is seeing. So now I will add Here. And so our roses have been doing very, very well. Uh, sometimes they don't do as well, but the rain is really taking care of them. They're very beautiful. As you know, roses don't stay in bloom very long. You know, they, they come and they go. That's that's the symbol of an enjoyed moment, uh, particularly for this kind of a rose. So I'm going to put this over here. And this is going to uh, take the place of a balance for this. Because this goes out pretty far, so I need something to balance it on the other side. And I'm trying to keep these leaves because I think they add to it. Let this stay, stay out, go out pretty far. I could stop right there, but so I'm going to add another flower. Requires, you know, a simple days, so beautiful days like this, I'm going to show the base off. So this is the theory in this one. I want the base to be uh, enhanced by the flower material. I like this sweet little thing. <laughs> Sometimes the larger, the smaller ones should be taller, but I just like this one. from the taller, the, the style arrangement container. I'm going to do more of a, of a, a line arrangement, as you might call this. <clears throat> and uh, this is a real pretty base because it, it has healing water. And uh, so this is one that's rather nice to use in the summertime because water is always cool. So I will do this one, and I'm using <clears throat> This is 
the Solomon seal. And it's in a way, remember I told you that these were the white things here? This, uh, if you're familiar with this plant at all, it's a big brown cover and it has little white bells, kind of bell things that hang from it. Uh, those are gone now. It's a very strong plant and it, it, it propagates itself so we can plant it through and pretty soon we've got a whole garden of Solomon seal. I'm going to put that one here. The stems are fragile though. It's, it's, it's already split there, so I've only got one chance for this. These are from my yard, yes. Chances. I'm going to save that one. It's going to kind of be a little symmetrical, but at least right now it is, but I'm going to try to make it asymmetrical. So I'm going to this is a balance for that, but still, I think we could say it's pretty symmetrical, don't you? Mm -hmm. I want to lift this up so it's not quite so so low. And so this is the pampas grass and this is zebra kind of grass. And uh, I just want to put this in so that it so kind of a little, a little bit like a garden. It's a very long lasting flower as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a little bit more space. Do this easily, anything you can do this. Just, just have the material. That's all you do is the right material. And the container, and the canvas, and the clippers. Oh, I'm not finished yet. 
Over here, you couldn't see, you can't see those very well. Mm -hmm. Oh, we do it, yes, we do the clippers and the containers and the pens uh, are, yes, we do. Not very many containers, we're really not the container business. You don't really want to use this uh, Kenza. It's ugly to see. So I decided that I was going to try to get some other support material. And I'm going to use some bamboo sticks. Mm. It you know, always has to be one arrangement that has some bamboo in it somewhere. <laughs> because uh, our headmaster, who was in Tokyo, uh, everything he does has bamboo in it. So I would be very in bad. Uh, situation with him if I didn't put the bamboo in, so I'm going to use this. Put this down inside. The green bamboo is very beautiful too, so you see some of it. And this is going to help to support the material, so. This is uh, from Lawrenceville. Is that where, where Ed lives in Lawrenceville? Uh, Douglasville. Douglasville. You know, Douglasville. She's, this is one of our students, or one of our colleagues, who loves bamboo, too. So she's right in step with each of us. She brings it to class. She just goes outside and cuts it. And it's really it's pretty nice. So this is going to be the main support system. So I'm doing one without kids on. So this will be it. Uh, but this is a little wobbly, so what I decided to do, I didn't use it here. <coughs>
bamboos it is uh, settled. <laughs> There's no way really to use this as a support of anything. I'll try it more. Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> 
Very natural, you're just kind of doing the natural thing. And you still see the bamboo in there, and then I want some wine. in a bundle of things, maybe 30, 40, 50 maybe in a bundle, mm -hmm. but it's very hard to keep it without flopping, so I separate 